Welcome to Math in the 151 with me, Mr. Harvey. Throughout these videos, I plan to use this notebook to help us keep track of the lessons that we will learn. In today's video, we're going to classify the kinds of numbers we're going to use in this class. Numbers are grouped into two main categories. We have real numbers and imaginary numbers. That's right, some numbers are imaginary. But we're only gonna focus on the real ones, like ones that you can see and count. But before we can classify them, we have to think, what really is a number? Imagine we go back in time, before there were numbers, when being a shepherd was a really popular job. Now a shepherd has to protect and keep track of all of their sheep. But imagine that there are no numbers. How would you keep track of your sheep? Numbers are used to help keep track of the amount of something, like sheep. Numbers were first recorded using sticks and little bones like this. Each stick represents a sheep. Then a word was given for each different amount, like one, two, three, four, and so on. These numbers were called natural numbers or counting numbers, which is actually our first classification. To help keep this information organized, we're going to imagine I wrote all the natural numbers in this circle. But what if you weren't a shepherd and you don't have anything to count? You have zero sheep, right? Exactly. Zero is not a natural number because when we start counting, we naturally don't start with zero because there's nothing to count. This will help you remember that zero is not a natural number. Zero is considered as a whole number, which is the next classification. All natural numbers are also considered to be whole numbers. To represent this, we will create a bigger circle around the natural numbers and zero. As we move forward in time and the business world becomes more complex, new numbers needed to be invented. We needed to represent something for borrowing money. And that's where negative numbers comes into place. And with a whole new classification, integers. Integers are simply defined as all whole numbers and their opposites. Wait, numbers have an opposite? Yes, the opposite of a number is a number with the same distance from zero, but is on the other side or opposite side of zero. This will be explored in the next video. So to continue with our notes, we are going to draw another circle around the whole numbers because whole numbers are integers, but we have to include their opposites too. And this brings us to the last classification of the day. Do you know what it's called when we take numbers and we break them into fractions and decimals? That's right, rational numbers. Rational numbers are all natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and positive and negative fractions and decimals. If it can be written as a fraction, then it is a rational number. Remember, some numbers can be in multiple classifications. For example, the number three. Yes, it is a rational number and an integer, but it's best classified as a natural number. So you wanna make sure to put the number in the best classification because some numbers work for many different classifications. And now the tip of the day. Sometimes numbers can trick you like 12 halves. At first, it looks like a fraction. So you think it is a rational number, which is true. It is rational. But since it can be simplified to the number six, it is best classified as a natural number. Here is a rundown of the whole video in 30 seconds or less. When we were younger, 
we learned how to count using counting numbers, also known as natural numbers. All natural numbers are whole numbers. All whole numbers are integers. All integers are rational. All rational are real. If you can say it, then you know it. If you know it, you can teach it. And if you can teach it, then you are ready for the test. Thank you for watching the video today. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them down in the comments and check out these other math videos or some other random videos on different topics.